Hello, welcome. In this video, um, we're looking at an average rate of change problem. So pause it, read it, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so the world population was 2,560 2, million people. So 10.6 times 10 to the third, about billion. So two, about 2.5 billion people in 1950 and around 3 billion in 1960 and can be modeled by this function, p of t equals 2560 e to the power of 0.017185t. Oh boy, where t is time in years after 1950. Okay, so here we're starting to get to something I need to think about. Um, it's years after 1950. That's what t is. So then in 1950, this is when t is 0. And then in 1960, well, that's 10 years after 1950, so t is 10. And p of t is the population in millions. So that's why they're writing it this way. This is, so this is the number of millions of people. Okay. Determine the average rate of change uh, from 4 through t equals 4 through 8. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so 4 years after 1950 to 8 years after 1950, they want to know... Uh, if we model it based on this function, what we'd expect to find. And that's interesting. I, I don't know why then, why are they giving us inf other information here about 1960? Okay. Anyway, so there's some function, and this is going to be exp it's gonna be an exponential function um, and where the population is going up over time. So we, we could plug in 4 to this function and then 8 of this function, right? Find p of 8, find out what it is, subtract p of 4, that would tell us the difference in the outputs in population, and then subtract it, divide it by eight, the difference of 8 and 4. That's one way to do it, manually. But I, I would suggest, perhaps, that you look at a calculator here, because if you go to y equals, clear up any old functions, I'll type 2160, and then save yourself some time, second ln, uh, that sets you up with an exponent, point, I think it saves you time at least, 0 0.017, what is that? 185x. Okay, so this is our function. Now you could graph it, right? And I don't know what you would see. It depends where your window is right here. I'm not seeing anything. But if I go to zoom 6, let's see if that helps me a little bit. Still nothing. Why is that? Well, if we plug in 0 to our function to get a sense of it, it would be 2560 times e, which is about 2.71. So that's a height of about, uh, and again, so if I plug in 0 for t, excuse me, it's not 2560 times e, it's 2560 times 1, because e to the 0 is 1. So that means our y-axis, if I go to my window, if I want to see this thing, it's starting at 2750, so let's go up to 5000 then. So our y-max, let's put 5000. We don't need to see this, by the way, but I, I just want you to get a, gl a glimpse of it. There's our function. It's growing slowly over time. An average rate of change is the slope between two points where we're going from 4 to 8. But all I really needed here was my table. That's why it's so quick. If I go to 4, I've got my output 2742.2 million. And then I go to 8, which is 2937.3, so almost 3,000 million, I can find the slope quickly, right? So because here we're looking at these points, input is 4. Output is 2742.2, and the other point, the input is 8, and the output is 2937.3. So we're finding the, the difference of the output, so 2937.3, oh boy, 0.3, that's P of 8, the output at 8, minus 2742.2 over 4. And on the calculator, let's enter this. Make sure we agree with, make sure we have an agreement here. When I enter this in the calculator, I'm very careful. Enter my numerator in parentheses. So it's 2937. Don't forget that. They'll get you that way. Minus 2742.2. Close parentheses and then divide by 4. We get 48.775. And they want it to the nearest hundredth, which is this point right here. So it's 48.78. 40. 8.78. So per year, the average rate of change is about 48 million people per year, right? Um, okay, so I hope that helped.